Hello. This is the second time Chris does this to me, and I need to come in front of you guys to show you what we're working on. I'm pretty excited to be able to show you uh, what we came up with based on the <laughs> you're not thinking big enough statement. <laughs> and so uh, when we presented orgs 2.1 to Chris, which was basically a new form system for your, your guild, we quickly saw that the feature set that we needed needed to be way bigger than just a traditional form engine. Also, we didn't want to just build a form engine for the sake of it, which is, you know, it's still a pretty whole old medium. So we wanted to basically start reinventing that. You can switch. And so we came up with Spectrum. Uh, the name uh, was coined just as naturally as that because we felt that it represented the uh, that it was already in the lore, and so it was the perfect way to sort of uh, name this tool. And so what Spectrum is, um, is a real-time web application that offers all community communications in Star Citizen. So that's the high level. Now, to present it, I'm, I need to deepen into it. Now, this is the result of almost a year of work and labor of love from the Tribulant team, who has been iterating and iterating on that, looking at what's already there. And this is what we came up with. And so it's modeled, modeled after contemporary communication platforms. I'm sure you guys use many of those. And so we did not start to reinvent things from the ground up. We really took something and tried to make it as usable as possible based on what existed. We used modern technologies to build it. Uh, that means we did not go the classic route of building an application in a low-level language. We went with web technologies that can now be on the desktop, that can allow for rapid development which was already a groundbreaking moment uh, to be able to change the stack and go faster. Um, and then when we pitched the idea, it came really quickly that this tool could become also, solve a major problem in the game, which was how do we differentiate between in fiction and out of fiction? We want to bring you guys, like your friends at work, you want to be able to talk to him. How do we differ differentiate between that and somebody who's actually in the game? And so Spectrum becomes the natural conduit for that. Now, focus on usability. It's the in-game UIs will always be focused on being diegetic and super sci-fi-ish. Now, in order to make the real world stuff really works, then we need something that's more usable, material design, and needs to focus on that first, and community. And that was the sticking point, is that we since the beginning, the vision from Chris was always that you don't need to run your guild off-site. You don't need to run your organization off-site and use off-site tool. We can offer all of these tools in the platform, and so you can just hit the ground running. And so we want you to be able to have your home in the spectrum as your organization and be able to customize it. And so the first part of the module um, is, of course, chat. And so. If we're going to hit chat running, we're not going to build a standard chat like we did a few years ago for the live chat module. We need a rich chat. We need an application that's real time. We need a chat where you can embed medias from external sites or from RSI sources. Uh, we need you to be able to react to comments and words that are being written by your friends or by your, um, by your coworkers or anybody you're, you're playing a game with. And so just on the chat level, we really wanted to get something that was modern and usable. Now, in terms of form engine, we needed forums. We knew we needed that. We didn't want to abandon this medium, which was so crucial to building this community. And so, but we wanted to modernize it. And so, in the same application, we're going to bring you guys some brand new forums. Now, what you're looking at now, and we'll, I'll show you a bit later, is the light team. And this is part of why we wanted to focus on usability first, because if we make everything dark, it's really difficult to use, and it gets a strain on, on people using it. So there is an option to keep it light, and that's what I'm showing here. And so the form engine is also real time. When new threads come up, you're going to see notifications come in. Uh, we, we, it's a brand modern take on this, on, on how forms can be rapid and fast and not the old school model that we've had. Now, to go further than that, we need more types of discussions in form. We need to be able to have Q and A's. We need to be able to have live threads on live topics that are happening now, and of course, classic threads, which will just you know, stay there forever. And so what is Spectrum? 
Well, first, it's private messaging and chat and forums. And so we needed to solve private messaging because I'm sure you guys have used the private messaging on the forums currently. Everybody's pretty much in agreement there. We need a private messaging solution. And so Spectrum implements that. We needed presence. And so to be able to tell online if your friends are in the game or even just in Spectrum, so we needed to be able to have uh, presence displayed on there. Notifications and alert. So if you're watching a thread, you wrote a thread, somebody mentions, you need to be able to know about that. That encourages this flow of information across the board. And so notifications were core to that. Of course, all of these features, they're awesome. But they need to be sandboxed. And so for each of your orgs in Spectrum, you will have access to all those features. And so as you build up your organization, you'll have access directly to features to build your own chat lobbies, your own forums, your own notifications based on that. And so you'll be able to switch context, create a group with your friends, access it in there, create a lobby, and boom, you're done. Hit the ground running. And so what is Spectrum? Well, it's all of these things. It's real time, it's modern chat, modern forums, it's private group messaging, online presence, notifications and alerts, and namespaces. And this is the core of what this new app is. It's also voice, because we need to have voice transmission. And so you can advance more. And so on the voice part, uh, we needed to be able to carry voice outside of the game, because as you, everybody knows and you have experience playing games, you want voice to be carried by an external program and not by the game client, because when the game client has an issue, well, you need to be able to talk to your friends and say, I'm rebooting the game. And so <laughs> Spectrum is going to be your lifeline for that. But of course, Chris wasn't going to settle with that. <laughs> we can't have non-spatialized voice in Star Citizen. And so Spectrum will be able to send voice datagrams to the game and have it be spatialized and treated inside the game for additional treatment and immersion. And so that's going to be the ultimate goal. And so when you put all these pieces together, you get an interface that looks a bit like this. You've got your top-notch sidebar, party system, voice channels, voice chat and notifications all into one. And so this is what the, the dark team looks like. We can switch to the light team in a, in a pinch. <laughs> and so you'll be able to swap back and forth uh, whenever you want. And so that's the baseline of the interface. You can see that we've kept it really, you know, we use modern stuff, and that shows uh, through the, the technology we're using. Now, of course, this needs to go everywhere. So it's a web app, it's a desktop application, and like Chris likes to say, Spectrum is the launcher. And it's also going to be available on mobile and tablets because, you know, you need to be able to keep up with your friends when they're in the game and you're at work. <laughs> now, in terms of game integration, this platform uh, is similar to other platforms that exist. The, the, the advantage that we have is that we can go deeper with game integration. Specialized voice is one example, but we, there's more examples to that. Friends and contact will be standardized in Spectrum, so you can manipulate them from there. We can have rich game presence. That means you're not just online, you're on part Olisar. That's a big difference. So you'll be able to see statuses from the game straight in the Spectrum UI. Uh, party management is where we ultimately want to be able to get so that during the day, you're planning out you know, a game session. You create your party inside the spectrum, get your friends in. You've got your chat lobbies, your voice lobbies already set up for your party. When you get uh, to your uh, house at night to play, you just, boom, join the party. It's already created, and it's ready to go. And so um, <laughs> location-aware lobbies will allow us to basically have you know, li voice lobbies and chat lobbies that are uh, based on in-game locations. So just by being in a location, we'll create this dynamic lobby, and you'll be able to use it. Um, you can see Spectrum as the real-world arm to the universe that Chris is building. And so when game events occur and you need to be notified on your mobile or whatever, Spectrum will be the transmission for those, and be, uh, so you'll be able to receive them this way. There's going to be... Also, Spectrum will be available inside an overlay on the game, so you'll be able to see who's talking, voice, change your voice channels, open the full Spectrum UI, 
and chat with your friends directly from the game. And so it really becomes the in and out universe communication bridge uh, for the game. And so now this was cool. Uh, I showed you some screens, talked a bit about it, but uh, I'd like to show you where we're at. We're not ready to ship just yet, but I can demo the interface uh, that we have on our development environment that we call Future, because we're hipsters like that. <laughs> and uh, and uh, you'll see that it's all generated with uh, you know, text from Alice in Wonderland, because it's our, our test generator, generates forum threads and channels and all that stuff. But I can just show you a bit where we are uh, and where we're going to be there in a few weeks, I hope. One, two. One, two. OK. So this, um, what I'm showing off here is just a live super dev uh, interface for a Spectrum. And so right now, I'm logged in as me. I've got access to chat lobbies. Now, hopefully, the internet is still up on this Mac, and I can still reach it. Yes. All right. And so this is live chat. Now, I only have the light theme on this version, but for every chat lobbies that I can visit, I, have, I can bookmark them directly in the left bar. The left bar will be the way you can track all types of content, whether it's a lobby, whether it's a thread. So in this case, I'm looking at a chat lobby. I can have rich embeds in it. I can have uh, different user interfaces. I can send private messages straight from this interface directly. I can react. Now, you can imagine that right now we only have these default icons, but we're going to have some cool icons coming up. And obviously, as part of the customization that we plan, you guys will be able to upload your own sheets of emojis and emoticons and change your own upvote uh, icons to customize. Um, and so I can, from this lobby, this is pretty cool, I can jump to my Planet Express org, and then there you go, I'm inside it. But the key here is that the left sidebar allows me to balance between RSI community items, like the recruitment chat, for example, or the general forums of my org. And so I just need to bookmark them on the left, and that's it. I get access to them. Now, going down to these threads, I can just jump to any thread, really. And then this is the forum engine. It's a lot more modern. Uh, we, you know, uh, it's way faster, too, because it's real time. So when new reply comes up, I get a notification for it. I can upvote. I can react on any of those. But also, what's pretty cool is that we've flattened the list into a single list. So you, there's no more paging going from page to page. Just scroll down the list. And one thing that's, in, that's pretty cool is if we look at Leanne Jacoby here, who's answered Mr. Carey, I can mouse over it and I see his reply. And then, oh, what did he say? I can click on it and just jump straight to it and navigate inside the thread dynamically this way, uh, giving us a lot more control. In terms of editing features, when you reply or um, or comment on any of those replies, like I can just jump here. This is a bar that's directly within. I can keep on browsing while I'm editing. The editing feature is based on blocks, and so I can add different blocks, move them around, and compose my own. And so this is pretty cool because it's not just text and markdown, funky markdown. I can actually insert the blocks and move them and publish. And of course, when I do publish, if I was watching the thread, then I will get, whoops, sorry about that, I will get a notification for it directly. And so the notification panel becomes my follow uh, button, and so I can just follow that. I can also bookmark a thread, and so then it shows up in my left bar. So you can imagine, you know, big catamari going out, and I want to follow that. I just <laughs> put notifications on, bookmark it, and then it'll actually show up on the left and light up when new replies are coming in. Um, private messaging, of course, I was chatting with John earlier, so it was right here. I can actually check this out, and then I'm right in there. I uh, get my notifications for my private messaging uh, and settings. And so this is the state of Spectrum right now. This is where we're going. Uh, we're a few weeks out from this first release, which will allow, already allow you to create chat lobbies and forums and full control over that. And then if I can jump back to the presentation right over here. Here's what we're thinking about. Uh, okay, so this, 
Soon trademark, in this case, is pretty close. Uh, we're thinking before the end of the year, we want to have this first release out because we want this in your hands so you can tell us what you like or dislike about it. And that's typical Star Citizen. We need your feedback to be able to compile what we like about the interface that we thought for you guys and uh, the other one, and, and if it's good or not. Uh, so in this software release, so it's browser only, but it's going to have forms and chat notifications, private messaging, and friends. One thing that I did not show, but I can just jump back, is search. So search is one thing that we wanted to have directly embedded in it. And so all your communities will be searchable right away. And so you'll be able to jump the threads or chats that have been logged. That's one thing I want to say to moderators, community moderators that are looking at me right now going like, ah! it's all logged and searchable. <laughs> Public channels are. All the org stuff is yours. And so um, in the next update after that is we want to hook it up directly with the game presence so you can already see when your friends are playing the game. And that will create the first bridge with the game so that everything is connected. And the customization uh, options I, uh, I uh, named, like being able to add your custom emojis, your custom upvote buttons, uh, that will be in that, first re that second release. And then after that, we're moving to a six to eight week cycle for all of the remaining functions. So launcher, in-game overlay, voice support, and mobile. And so we're going to be working on Spectrum quite a bit. And this is only the beginning because, as you can see, you can already imagine how we can bring down the organization system management in it or add more features to it. And so this, this is going to become a really important tool that you'll have. Since you'll have the installer and you'll have the launcher, you'll have Spectrum installed. And so that's it. That's what I want to show you guys.